Hey, what's going on you guys? Uh, it's me, Jerry. Uh, today I'm testing out a new lighting setup and also I'm gonna do a camera review or a product review of some items that I had recently purchased uh, about a month ago. Uh, I tested them out and so today I just want to give a review and just to tell you guys um, basically how I've been using it and if I like it or not and yeah, just pretty much a product review. So the first item I purchased was this Passport. It's actually a color checker Passport Photo 2. Let me see if I can focus in on it. There you go. Yeah, so I have purchased this. Um, this is something I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of photographers uh, use it, uh, like on YouTube. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube and stuff like that. And so I've seen a lot of them use it, but I never purchased it, uh, like purchased it myself. And so uh, recently I decided to purchase it. It was a little more than I wanted to um, buy it for. It was like $99 for this little color checker. I've seen some on Amazon a little bit cheaper, but I decided to go with the more expensive brand. And um, overall, um, like I said, it, it was, I think it's overpriced, but it works wonderful. I use it on a few shoots and just to be able to just to have the model hold it up to the, their chin or their face and then later when I come back home and uh, edit it I can just click on the the white balance and it'll color correct it without me trying to you know go in and see if it's too warm too cold and adjusting the white balance um, after I get done shooting so um, it was it's definitely something that I would recommend it's definitely something that's helping my workflow to uh, make my editing a lot faster and smoother um, the only thing is I, sometimes I forget like to pull it out and take a shot of the model holding it. Oops, excuse me. I take a shot of the model or the subject holding it before because uh, basically you get one shot of them holding it and then you can sync the rest uh, within camera raw. Um, so sometimes I forget to pull it out and just have them hold it. But uh, when I do use it, I do like it. And here it is. Maybe let's see if it'll focus. This is it without the box so yeah overall like I said I would definitely recommend it to other photographers or people that's interested in purchasing it I feel like it is pricey uh, I wish it was like $50 or $30 but $100 uh, it's kind of I mean I don't know I think it's overpriced but and they also have like a a gray and white side here super focusing there you go yeah so they have two sides I haven't used the gray and white side yet I just stick to the color checker side and it works but yeah something quick I just wanted to just uh, to do a review um, like I said I'm testing a, a new lighting setup um, and then I'm also just doing a review on a few items today so my next item the next item I got was uh, lens um, actually another photographer by the name of Dion told me about this lens years ago he was like oh you should get the 85 millimeter it's, it's, it's dope you know you'll love it I'm like um, I don't know um, I'm gonna stick with my 50 millimeter prime that was the first uh, the second lens that I had purchased when I started doing photography so I was like nah I'm stick with the 50 millimeter and then years 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 later I'm like okay I'm trying to expand different focal lens and different lenses and so I purchased the 85 millimeter 1.8. Uh, of course, I wanted the 1.4 or the 1.2, but Canon prices is like 2,600 for it. And mm, uh, this one was just 499, around 500. No, it was 399, so around 400 dollars. Um, so I saved a little bit of money, and I feel like it works great. I tested it out for graduation pictures, uh, photo shoots, and portraits. And so far, I like the, the images I got from the 85 millimeter. So this is it. This is the box. I'm like focusing on it. 85 by Canon. And then I can show you the actual piece of glass if it focuses. I don't know. Let me see. Good focus. Could you guys see it? There you go. It's the 85. Maybe I'll do some B-rolls to get a better shot of it. But yeah, um, I'm in love with it. Um, one of my new favorite uh, lenses, the 85. Uh, I've been shooting with the 85 more than the 50 now. Um, 
The only thing that I don't like is I'm further back from the subject. So if I'm trying to direct them and tell them uh, to move their hands here to, you know, change the body language, sometimes they're like, huh, what? It's like they can't hear me because I'm further back uh, at 85 millimeters rather than 50 millimeters, where 50 millimeters I'm really like kind of close up and stuff like that. But other than that, this is a great lens. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it.